I took up fly fishing this last year, uh, 2020, and uh, I wanted a pouch um, to carry my fly fishing gear that also I could put a pistol in. Um, so I couldn't find one. Uh, I, I didn't look super hard, but just from the searches I did and the sports stores I went to, I've seen lots of fly fishing pouches, but none that would carry a gun. So I um, decided to make my own. So here it is, and if you're interested in seeing how I did it, stick around and I'll uh, take you through the process. Um, so I, I made this out of an old sea bag I had. Uh, so that's what the material is. I, I got some scraps from some an old backpack and some other things, but um, so originally what I, I thought it would be easiest if I just got a straight edge and used a razor knife and it kept it kept bunching, it wasn't very smooth, so I ended up just cutting all these pieces out with scissors. Um, and if you're interested to, to know the sizes, um, these panels are eight and a half inches by nine inches. Uh, and then you can see I'm cutting out liners here. And I so I cut out three of the canvas panels and two of those. I don't even know what that material is. It's uh, from an old backpack. Um, anyway, two of the liner pieces and three of the canvas pieces. And those are all the same size. And then this is a different kind of canvas. Um, the sea bag is like a waxed canvas. And this that particular piece I was cutting out there, it's got like a plastic lining on the inside from a different duffel bag that I, that I had had. Um, anyway, what that is, is going to be a little sleeve to put the uh, forceps that I, for, you know, removing fl flies from a fish's mouth. Um, that's what it, this, what I'm doing here. I had cut it out and then I, what I did is just fold it over the edges, sewed the edges, and then um, fold over, and then I sewed it onto this, this piece, which is going to be the, the outermost piece. Um, and then a little bit of uh, strap here, uh, nylon strap. Um, same thing, I folded over the edges so they wouldn't fray. And now I'm kind of trying to center it up, make sure it looks okay. And then I'm sewing it onto that outermost piece. This piece here is uh, the, the black piece is made out of that, that same black canvas material. But what it is is a little pouch for my Leatherman. Um, I like to keep a Leatherman with me, um, but I didn't really I don't really love it like flopping around as I'm trying to cast and hike around and it, you know so I'm just making a little pouch to hold a Leatherman. I, I like the Leatherman wave and so. Um, I just made a little piece that would pretty snugly fit that. And I'm sewing this on the inside of the bigger pouch that carries the rest of the gear. And I, um, so I'm kind of wanted off to the side so it's not in the way. Um, but that's what this little pouch is for is, is this is just a pocket for a Leatherman. Uh, and you know, obviously you don't need that. Uh, and then I'm here, I'm sewing the liners on, um, the, and the liners are only going on the pieces that's um, where my gun is going. Um, and I built my, I carry a Glock 19, so that's what this this pouch is, is designed to, to fit. Um, so pistol that size, this, this size pouch would, would probably look good. Too small for like a 1911 or something like that. Um, so here, this is zipper, uh, and I bought I think I bought it from sale, right? I'm not real sure where I bought the zipper. But it's supposed to be like a water-resistant zipper. And so I cut the zippers to length, and now this is the rest of the borders around the pouches, pouches um, that's going to, to fit together to make 
you know, the zipper pieces. Uh, and I picked this up from a YouTuber. I think his channel is Jason of All Trades, and he's got some pretty good tutorials about zippers and pouches and that kind of thing. So um, he does a way better job filming the sewing. And, um, he, you know, his videos are actually uh, tutorials. Um, so I encourage you, if you're interested in doing something like this, and you don't know how to do this part, um, Jason of All Trades, he seems like he's got, um, there's lo loads of YouTube resources out for, for that sort of thing, but, you know, I, I thought he did a good job. So anyway, that's what I'm doing here is I'm just putting together those zippers and, uh, you know, I don't even know what it's called, the the part that surrounds the pouch um, that the zipper is attached to. And then once I got those put together, then I'm just trimming them so they're all the same seam allowance all the way around. And uh, for these, I had a, all my seam allowances on the pouch are about a half inch. Um, and in this smaller pouch, I, I wanted the pistol to fit kind of tight. Um, so I only gave... So, so that whole piece is an inch and a half thick. So I got a half inch of seam allowance on the either side, and then uh, in the center is only a half inch, which makes it pretty tight to sew this actually. And you know, granted, I'm, I'm new to sewing anyway, but um, so that was inconvenient. I might make it a little. If I made this over again, I might make that a little bit wider. And then in that last shot, what you saw me doing was just measuring out where I wanted the corners to be on this surround piece. Um, you know, as you're sewing these pieces together, it's it's pretty easy to get them out of alignment. So I put marks with, uh, I think it was just a pencil there. Um, so I know that if I'm getting out of alignment, I can kind of bring that back in and, and make sure I'm staying on track. That way, once I get all the way around the circumference of the, the pouch, it's, it's, I don't have a whole bunch of extra material or not nearly enough material, so that's kind of the, the purpose of that. And then here, just sewing that zipper piece on. And then, and then, yeah, so then when you're making a pouch like this, all thing to do is put the outsides in and, and make it inside out. Um, that way, when you turn it uh, right side out, um, all your seams and things are, are in the inside, so that's what I'm doing here. So you could see that that piece of masking tape. So my the, the I don't even know what you call the plate where the needle goes through on the sewing machine, but it, it that has markings on it for the different seam seam allowances. Um, but when you're sewing a pouch like this, it's it kind of stuffs hanging out on either side. It's hard to tell where the marks are, so I just put that tape down so I could extend that half inch seam allowance mark. Um, that, so that's the purpose of that, just to uh, give me a better idea where I'm at uh, uh, during the process. And then this is uh, the bigger zipper pouch uh, here. And, and the difference about the, the bigger side of this pouch is that I'm also sewing in the straps um, to this too, and I double stitch those all too, but these straps are also off um, Well, most of them are off the seat bag. The shoulder straps are off the seat bag that I got the can the wax canvas from And then I also just got some straps and buckles all online um, But I'm adding that to this part of it too And like I put them where I put them for aesthetics 
mostly I thought the pouch would look nicer this way. Um, I think putting them against your body probably would make it easier if you did need to get your gun out. It would in a hurry. It would probably make it easier to get it in and out. Although, you know, I haven't had much trouble getting it out, so maybe that's not a big big concern. But <clears throat> anyway, um, so I'm just continuing, and this is the last side of the 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 pouch, and I have all of the straps tucked in um, inside that in the zipper closed. And this is one part where. If I was doing it over again too, I would open part of that zipper before I sew, sewed it all the way around because I had a bear of a time getting that thing open. Um, you know, you could get to the back side of the pole, obviously, you could see it here, um, but it's hard to get the angle right when you're trying to pull with your fingers. And so I kind of struggled with that for a bit, which was a little bit of a surprise to me. Uh, probably isn't to people that have more experience doing this sort of thing, but. Uh, but well, got it open and the zipper was fine. It totally it functioned totally fine. And then um, so here really is the first time I'm turning this thing right side out. And so far I'm pretty pleased with the way this is turning out. And then cleaning up some of the threads uh, here and there. Then the next thing to do is the harness or you know where the straps are and this kind of Y shape that I made here. Uh, I copied the shape from a, a bino harness that I have, um, which is super comfortable. So that's um, that's why I got this. Uh, I wouldn't exactly say I nailed this part, but um, I got this cut out and then I added a half inch seam allowance all the way around. I don't know if that's the right term for this. Um, and then I knew that I was going to be folding them over and then sewing them the, together with the straps inside. So I'm ironing them to, to make that easier. And then here's the shoulder straps from that C bag. Um, so get it all ironed out, line, lined out. And then I was using these binder clips is what they were to hold them. And then uh, starting the sewing process here. And I'm, I'm sewing in the shoulder harness first. And then eventually I'll go around and you'll see me sew the whole perimeter of that, that back piece. Um, so, it, and I thought what if I did it this way, then it would, what would end up happening is I would double stitch all those straps. Not that we're talking about very much weight here, but um, anyway, that's the purpose of, of why I did it the way I did. And then here you can see I'm showing all the perimeter of that piece now. I think that piece could have made I could have made it a little smaller and still be pretty comfortable and wouldn't have been although it's at your back so you can, you don't really see it when you're wearing the thing. This is second time around the perimeter. So I stitched in the belts once and then two times around the perimeter. And that was pretty much it for that piece. Now what I'm doing here is I'm rolling the ends of those straps that I cut. Uh, this is once they're through the buckles and I don't have to pull them through any more buckles. But I'm rolling them over twice so the end of it, which I did heat with a lighter to kind of seal it, keep it from fraying also. But the end of it's tucked up underneath underneath itself. So hopefully it, it won't fray or come unraveled at any point. But that's what I'm doing here is all the ends of those straps, I just fold it up underneath itself. And then here I'm filling it out. So you see I put the Leatherman in the pouch there and then um, there's some of my fly fishing kit. Um, just putting it in this pouch to see get an idea how it feels and looks and all in all I was pretty pleased with it. And then there goes the pistol. And then over here I'm trying it on. And then here is the final product. Uh, if you like the video um, hit the like button for me and then 
If you haven't already, hit subscribe. Thanks for watching. Thank you.